Welcome back to the basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. We are the friendliest place on YouTube. We are Basement Let's Play, and a subsidiary of the basement. <laughs> and we are about to go fight Bowser. Wait, we are? Yeah, you said we're gonna do that next time, last time. Well, I guess I'd better. Li I have know, a good it's memory. Been a week, that was, so that was a week ago. You do have a memory like a bear trap. Like, ooh, yeah. Nothing escapes from there except for small animals. <laughs> and eventually the bear. When but it chews its own leg off. Escapes via death. Ooh, he escapes his mortal coil. Yeah, he goes to bear heaven or not, depending <laughs> on whether he was a naughty bear. <laughs> to join Winnie the Pooh. Uh, Ted, I have um. I have joined a new branch of Christianity where we believe if your good works outweigh your bad, then you go to heaven. Oh, that's not good. Actually, all of Christianity believes that, but they also believe that oh. uh, not 10,000 good works could never outweigh a single sin because they are but dirty rags. Oh. Filthy rags. Mm, yeah, you know what those actually filthy rags. Yes. <laughs> I almost said it. Might, <laughs> might, might not be uh, if you. That's want, not basement let's play material. If you want to, if you want to read some uh, interesting material, look up the colorful language that Paul uses in the epistles. <laughs> he he uses some quite colorful language several times. We were actually talking about this with my brother-in-law last night. He came over and we were talking about what heaven and Which hell one? and different stuff. Uh, Lisa's brother. Oh, your favorite brother-in-law. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding, Jordan. <laughs> uh, Dan's pretty awesome. But yeah, we were talking about uh, all that stuff. I would have said that like, no matter. Oh, no! Oh! Give that torpedo oh, Ted a race. Spaghettified. I'm pretty sure I saw you redshift into that. I, well, I may have. Because <clears throat> your color slowly stopped. So you were talking about the epistles with your second favorite brother-in-law. Well, he's so fun to talk with about that stuff because he like, he's like, wait, wait. Hold on. So, why would I, why would I want to go to heaven? Ooh. Like he asks good questions that everybody thinks. Right. But no one, want, like, feels safe asking because they're gonna get like, oh, do you? Why don't I want to go to heaven? You're sure. an idiot. You know. No, the, uh, that's where all the best questions are. Are right. like hidden behind embarrassment of, well, that's a stupid question. Yeah, and I, it's you know, I just asked him. I was like, well, what do you think heaven is? You know, and he was like, huh. I suppose like you're 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 worshiping for eternity and I'm like okay Ew. so like what's that <laughs> you know and he's like I suppose it's like a church service I was like that sounds terrible I wouldn't <laughs> want to go to that and he's like what <laughs> wait what <laughs> and he's but that's how I everybody thought you loved every it. church service you ever went to yeah and you wanted to stay there for literally ever <laughs> you know <laughs> and uh, no it was a really cool conversation because I was like no if 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 God really is Everything that is good and awesome. Right. And the absence of that is the other place, right? <laughs> Which right. is the absence of anything that is good or awesome. Ooh, I want this. Like, if that's actually true, then imagine every amazing video game you've ever played and the feeling that you got Wait, from that. How how long would you be able to be entertained by that? Oh, I'm going to defeat these answers. Every good video game you ever played. It's like, right. oh, I could... I could spend a long time doing that. I was like, that's like, <laughs> that's the that's whole, it. that's the whole point is yeah. like, if, if God is everything good, right. It's like the culmination of all those feelings all at once. Yeah. Rather than a church service, imagine eating the best steak in the world while riding the best water slide in the world without your steak getting soggy. <laughs> if that sounds like it's worth trying once, there are billions more combinations of wonderful <laughs> things that you could try. <laughs> but I mean, like, even if that wasn't exactly specifically what happened, the <laughs> the feeling of that. Right. right. Everything that's wonderful about a steak, everything that's wonderful about a water slide, it's all there. And everything that's unfortunate about a steak, sometimes. Right. And, or and the end of a day of water slides when you're tired or you got that chlorine feeling on your skin or whatever, that's all absent. Right. Exactly. Oh, this is gonna. So be... I was like, so if that's true, then yeah, I definitely wanna go there. But if it's me as like a naked baby with wings playing a harp and flying around in clouds, yeah, that sounds dumb, and I don't want to do that. That'd get old in about a hundred years. I would want to be a little naked baby. So, <laughs> I think. I think be, like for a while. When I go to heaven, 
<laughs> if there if there's an option to for like a little while to like do that, yeah. just to say that I did it. The you naked know? baby retreat. <laughs> Ted is a Ted is a naked cherub. <laughs> the naked baby retreat. Dude, do I get to play a harp? Oh yeah, you get to play a little tiny cute harp. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. Sign me up. Wait, there's someone in there right now. Yeah, that's the rock. That's Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> as, you said as you a wanted baby to turn. cherub. <laughs> Wait, did he want to do that? Uh, no, he. He's in his own personal hell right now. <laughs> For him, that's it. He's like, I'm so unmuscular. <laughs> oh, Peter. I can't. No one can smell what I'm cooking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Ted, lay it on me. I was watching Teen Titans. You ever seen that show? Yes. Like the the, the funny version of the mm -hmm. show? And they were doing an episode where they were like wanting to do wrestling. And and uh, so they're all trying to like do some wrestling stuff. And Cyborg is like, no, we're going to do like Greco-Roman, like Olympic style wrestling. And like, that's boring. We need to make, we're going to be pro wrestlers. And so then they're all like, donning their different like I don't know personas and stuff and mm -hmm. Beast Boy is like I'm the wild man I'm the cream I rise to the top and I'm like <laughs> what Randy Savage yeah like dude they do they reference have, they have great references in dude. that show that kids would never ever get yeah they really do I and uh, so I pulled Joshua over to the side because we're watching it together and I'm like and I'm like video? watch this and he's like watching and all of a sudden he's like I'm the cream and then the rise to the rise top. top. On balance, off balance, it don't matter. <laughs> the thing falls <laughs> off his head, you know? And Josh was like, he took that from Teen Titans. <laughs> I was like, no, dude. Actually, this they, was 25 years ago. <laughs> maybe more. Yeah, probably more. 40. It was probably in the wow. 80s. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I Because I barely remember Randy Savage at all. So it's probably like 80, 80, 89. Yeah, I'll bet it was late 80s. Maybe early '90s. He was definitely wearing a lot of like Cream neon colors. Of the crop. Well, yeah. If you know the years that Randy Savage, Macho Man Randy Savage, was in, in his, his prime, in his heyday, it was the same years as like Hulk Hogan. So it would have been like probably actually, it probably would have been like '90s to '94 because he was like Hulk Hogan was his, you know, contemporary main rival. Right? <laughs> he was his contemporary. <laughs> 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 Are any of these new? No, but there are stars in them. Is this the bedroom? We gotta get all the stars anyway. How do I tell what this is? We we're not getting all the stars. Oh, okay. We gotta get them out. Did you fight Bowser and I just missed it? This is the... Well, I, I fought King Caliente. Oh. I, Drip Drop Galaxy? Sure. Okay, then. Well, good grief! <laughs> well, jeez! Drip Drop! Drop Drippity wow. droppity. Straight to the toppity. So, Ted. Yeah. We don't... Uh, oh, I already did this. We don't often... What? We don't often discuss uh, the male videos outside of male videos. Ooh, yes. But, what? What? I went to the P.O. box today, <gasps> and the basement has purchased another six months of P.O. <gasps> boxiness. Ooh. <gasps> <gasps> and, uh... <clears throat> what? Ted opened the P.O. box. Now, last time I went and renewed it, they're like, yeah, sure, what number? <laughs> okay. And I was like, uh, P.O. Box 95. Five. Oh, Minnesota, Minnesota 55330. And they're like, cool. <laughs> um, and then, this time, they're like, oh, can I see some ID? <gasps> Uh-oh. And I was like, uh, okay, but I don't, my name is not, I didn't start the, start it. That would be my business associate. <laughs> Ooh, where are we? This is a pleasant place. You're on a tiny little plant. Oh, this is the kind that makes me get goof barfy. And they're like, well, let me check and see if you're listed as an authorized user on the account. And I was like, oh, that doesn't sound like something Ted would do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But then they checked and I was. <gasps> Ooh, well, I remember you were there when, um, when I, when I did it. And because of that, we got two keys. I have a key. And you yes. Key. Yep. Um, so then they looked it up and I was and like, okay, so the name on the, the count, uh, is it Theo? And I said, what? 
what? <laughs> <laughs> Who's Theo? <laughs> and I went, oh, Theodore, Ted. Yes. <laughs> Theo. <laughs> I <forget that. laughs> We should we should have an alternate. <gasps> Peter, I've always wanted to do this. It's Rosalina. We could do we can do anything on the basement. Have you ever thought about that? We we could kill everyone. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, not that. Like, we could we could do we could do anything. Any idea that we've ever had, we could do. Yeah. I have always wanted to make it like an alternate universe. Mm. And we could totally make an alternate universe episode of the basement with Theo. Yeah. And Paul. Pete. <laughs> Pete. <laughs> yeah, Pete and Theo. How would it be different, though? Uh, like, maybe we, um, uh, let's see, how would it be different? Sega games? Like, Ooh. we play, like, a Sega game instead of, like, a Nintendo game, right? Or make, like, an alternate universe version of the first episode. <laughs> ah, <laughs> you know that'd be I funny. Mean? Yeah. So, that would be fun. Like, maybe we could, like, you know, line it up with Marvel's Multiverse of Madness. Whoa! Flying, Mario! Spin when jumping to fly. Why didn't they give him a cape or something? Oh my gosh, this is so hard to control. They should have made him, like, a rocket. Rocket Man? Rocket Man! Gonna get a copyright strike! <laughs> Dude, we got a copyright claim on our latest uh, Zelda episode video again. of Zelda 2, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I submitted another. So interesting. We should we should actually put some of the footage of that guy in the next video. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then and then dispute it. Dispute it. Dude, we I can't changed. like change the camera at all. Yeah, uh I don't know if we discussed it. We must have in another video. But Probably a Zelda 2 video. Yeah, we got a copyright claim on the Zelda 2 video for like for copyrighted music. And there's a guy, I think he's some Germanic language, different country. Yeah. Like him singing along with the temple theme. Oh my gosh. And YouTube is and like YouTube will get a copyright claim saying like this guy owns owns the rights to the song, and I'm like, wait, it's not even like Nintendo is making a copyright claim on the music. It's some other guy right. singing along with the song. But it's not him. <laughs> right. It's like song select. It's like some, he uploaded his song to a platform so people could download it as an MP3, and that platform apparently just randomly DMCA strikes people. Right. So yeah, it's not his fault. Oh my I gosh! Hit, I don't want to like make, make fun of him, but it is pretty funny to watch and go like, "This is what copyright strikes this." Yeah. <laughs> that looks really hard to. Oh my gosh! Play. It is. Do you have to get them all? Oh, you do. There we go. That's the last like must be flying one, I think. Okay, that helps. When there's still a bunch of them left, it's like a huge line of them, though, so it makes it easy. I do remember the first time I did this, when I, when Galaxy was new, I, uh, like, died. Oh, <laughs> With no. With 90 or something. Oh, gosh. I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. Whoops. Well, I don't have to fly. But maybe I will. There we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, this flying Mario costume leaves a lot to be desired. But look, they like swirl toward you. I didn't realize that. Oh, you suck them up. Yeah, if you get create like your own. You only got to get close to them. They should have put him in. I don't know. Something like black overalls. <laughs> <laughs> no, like something like a cape. Something else. Dude, you know what I want? Brown overalls. You know, what would be really awesome. A 3D Mario game that is Super Mario World. Ooh. Like, Super Mario World 3D. Ooh. And it would be, it would be like, you know, playing Mario 64, but all of the same storyline and castles and all that kind of stuff. Dude, you heard it here first. That's a great idea. Um, somebody, somebody just whip that up real quick. And, and this is the problem, Peter. It's so easy to come up with ideas for games that would be amazing. It's really hard to make them. To implement them, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I mean, the people who are following what I'm doing with a few other basement dwellers with the whole Archangler thing, 
know that it's a lot of work, but yeah. things are things are coming together now. We finally got like our libraries all kind of like getting nailed down, so we have a lot of like the basic scripts and stuff. So now things are starting to actually like look like they're happening. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. there's so much that encoding that happens underneath the surface. Yeah, I follow DSC on Twitter, I think, and I see little updates here and there. Yeah, and she does cool stuff with- There it is, 100! You did it, Peter, I'm proud of you. That was our 100 subscriber special. If I could. Was those 100 coins. Are they- Wow, the slow clap. <laughs> you tired of hearing that yet? <laughs> I'm really and good at that. there's a tiny amount of laughter in the background. Because <laughs> I'm going- <laughs> I sound like- You know what's really crazy? When I'm playing Ew. Minecraft- Look at the red star. That is bad. Um, when I'm playing Minecraft and I hear that, I always get freaked out because it sounds like a spider behind me. When I go, oh, your laugh, my laugh, my little laugh, dude, you laugh like a spider. I do. Oh, oh no! Oh, do you think the Minecraft spiders are laughing? You think that's a noise? Oh, they're laughing they're like what? I'm gonna they're sting got, this guy. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna get this guy. I'm gonna poison him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, next time in the basement, we're gonna play a little bit more. Of, well, not next time, tomorrow. Next but week in next the basement. Next week in the basement. When we play more Mario Galaxy, we're going to what are we gonna do? Uh What's we're next? gonna we're gonna get some new stars. Okay, more stars. Maybe we'll get into the garden. Because we haven't been in there yet, but it's a new area. Um until next time, basement dollars, we think that you are more uh uh French Canadian than uh pizza with pineapples and Canadian bacon. Ooh. And a souffle on top. Oh in, in the, the basement. basement. Oh.